Uh, my name is John Paul Rice. For the people watching that may not know who I am, my friends know me. I'm an independent film producer. I've been in Hollywood for about 20 years. I started my film career and Remember the Titans. Uh, worked at Senator International, later Mandate Pictures, under the producers who did Juno, The Grudge, Harold and Kumar, Stranger Than Fiction, and uh, eventually The Hunger Games when they went back into Lionsgate. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk to everybody here today is because uh, over the last course of the last week or two, we have found out uh, without notification that Amazon.com, for which we have six of our movies on there, our film, A Child's Voice, which has been on there for over a year and a half in the UK, the United States, and now 70 other countries, was suddenly, without notification, removed entirely from their platform. They unpublished it, and they made it not searchable in most of the sites. We've only tested a few outside of the United States, but the one in the United States, if you put in a child's voice in Amazon.com, you can't find it on the 1,100 pages that they'll give you back on your searches. The only way that you can get it is through a direct link, and we discovered this because the director's daughter had sent the links out to several of her friends when the Wayfair scandal broke, as well as the Maxwell files being released in the last 48 hours. And Amazon came back to us, they gave us a very standard corporate non-committal response that said, we make a lot of changes, we do this and that and the other, we judge things based on performance, but they couldn't give us a very specific answer. And we all know what the answer is. What our movie did before Epstein was known about in the public and before Maxwell was known about in the public is we found a network of pedophiles among a global network of people who were selling kids back and forth to each other, trading them like candy. It goes right in through Hollywood. If you look at the Daily Beast article, you'll see that Jeffrey Epstein had a pipeline right into Hollywood through Harvey Weinstein. That was last year. I've done a lot of deep dives and research into this, and there is a very satanic element to it for which we incorporated it into our movie. Our movie is a feature film. It deals with two teens, one who's a homeless heroin addicted teen, hears the voice of a child who had been killed at the beginning of the movie, calls out for his help, and he goes on a mission to rescue a girl from these human traffickers. They come together and then they stand up to this network in a spirit of love and courage for all of these children. It's a very beautiful film. It's been well reviewed, well received critically acclaimed by the people that have reviewed it, and also many users by the thousands, by the tens of thousands, by the millions all over the world have seen this. So when we had all of this come up, we went viral with it on Twitter the other day and it exploded because we still have one platform left here in the United States and that's Vimeo.com on demand. What I would like everybody to do is more importantly, I don't need to get back on Amazon. I already know what they're going to do, and they've got a stack of lawyers. But we're looking for alternative platforms where we can release this movie and get it out to as many people as possible. Our movie is not a documentary. It's a feature film. And we did this based on all the evidence and the facts that we had learned and incorporated into a story that you get involved through the character's journey. Their road to redemption is through love. And... This issue of human trafficking, which many people are waking up to today for a variety of reasons, is the issue that defines all of us in our time. The media corporations, the most powerful six corporations in the land, in the world for that matter, are all implicated in human trafficking of kids. And I would point to anybody who wants to know more about that to look at Project Veritas and the, and the leak disclosure of off-air footage of Amy Robach from ABC News when she found out and was discussing in 2016 that they had everything from Virginia Guffrey, all of it. Everybody who was involved, they had all the evidence. Their own lawyer said that when all is said and done, Jeffrey Epstein will go down as one of the most prolific pedophiles in all of history, and they buried that story to have access to the royal family, for which we now know Prince Andrew was implicated. 